y'all i am laughing my ass off this morning you see how i look right you see how i look so i technically hold on y'all i technically have been working off and on for about two hours well chris <laughs> Christine, Christine, my coworker and friend, she had a meeting this morning and she said, oh my God, you won't believe the camera came on, oh my, my camera came on meeting. I started laughing my ass, because look, I don't know about those of you who work from home, but when I work from home, I look like this. Oh, who am I getting dressed for? I have on when I call my mommy uniforms. There are these uh, long, sexy uh, <laughs> t-shirt style dresses. <clears throat> you get from, I get from Walmart. For less than seven, you know, five, six bucks. They are so comfortable. Great birth control to a girl because he is not having it. So, yeah, I wear this. And my hair doesn't always look like this. But sometimes I have a bonnet on. And once I get ready for the day, like I'm, I'm about to do right now. Because it's it's almost seven o'clock. Officially get ready for the day. Brush my teeth. Take a shower. I put back on a clean, clean one. So, she said. She said the camera came on and she was screaming for her husband to get her a piece of paper to block the camera. I said, girl, I, first of all, I laughed my ass off. I said, girl, before I enter a meeting, which most of us who work from home, we do webinars, okay? So before I enter a meeting, I put my thumb over the camera to make sure it's not coming on, okay? Because you never know. Girl, you need technical difficulties. So I have some good news to share with you guys. In my last vlog, I talked about how I was nominated for a promotion. I received a thank you letter last Friday. I'm gonna try hard not to cry because I was claiming this. I'm gonna give you a testimony in a minute. I officially received my promotion and it was a thank you letter. The reason why I found out it was a thank you email, excuse me, from the big boss. He sent it Friday, basically thanking me for everything I've been doing for the organization. It was, it was very heartfelt. When I was told that I was being nominated for a promotion that Monday I say my morning prayers and in my morning prayers I remember it's been a couple of weeks now but in my morning prayers I said you know um I'm praying for a promotion and that's when I heard the Holy Spirit say thank thank me for the promotion just go go ahead and give thanks for the promotion so I change it I said okay thank you for the promotion literally five days excuse me four days later I get told I'm getting pro. God is so good. Everything is on his timing. For that to happen that fast, I was, my whole thing this year was working towards a promotion. I was hoping to have it by the end of the year. But praise God, I've already got it. Um, the uh, money thing won't probably happen until the next cycle because they don't just do it, you know, for the next pay period. They wait for everyone to adjust. Payroll is totally different now. So, y'all, I'm going to get ready to. Um, I washed my face. My face is so dry lately. So you know what I'm using? Just a little bit. Sweet almond oil. I'm going to use just a little bit. Just as a moisturizer. And I know, who is it that uses sweet almond oil? Is it you, Marlene? Marlene, over in Belgium. And she told me that she uses. And ever since you told me that, girl, I've started using sweet almond oil on my body. Now, I've always used, first of all, I haven't used lotion on my body Sometimes I use hand lotion. I'm not going to front. But I haven't used a body lotion in years. It's been almost 15 years. I use oils. But uh, Miss Marlene G told me, y'all know who she is. Um, she told me a while back that she uses, I believe you say you use sweet almond oil. So anyway, JB has a dentist appointment this morning. Let me close the door, y'all, because my husband's still asleep. JB has a dentist appointment this morning. Y'all have, excuse me, I'm short if y'all don't know. I am short. I'm only 5'3". That's why I was on my tippy toes. I'm only 5'3", girl. Um, <laughs> barely even that. JB has a dentist appointment this morning and I'll kind of take y'all with me. Poor thing. I have been spreading out these dental appointments and those you don't know, my baby has a number of cavities. We tried to slow this process down by having what's called SDF applied to his teeth, which is a sodium diamide. It's basically a preventative paste that helps to slow down the decay of teeth. Uh, JB has very soft enamel. So as young as, God, I started noticing it around three years old, his teeth started flaking. And then he started getting holes. And then what happened is, when I went to a dentist about that. 
by the time we went to another dentist, when he was four, they turned into cavities. You know, today's so. gonna be a crock pot time of day, type of day, because I have too much to do today. Plus tomorrow, my husband's off, I'm gonna be cooking. Crock pot, I've layered. At the bottom here, we have purple onion, just a little bit, jalapeno, two uh, garlic cloves, we have baby potatoes, baby uh, carrots, some seeds, and this is all about layering when you do this type of stuff, y'all. So I have all my seasonings here, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, paprika, red pepper flakes, um, salt, olive oil. We're gonna put turmeric on the chicken. Now I'm gonna be using just a little bit of this Campbell's Oven Classic Roasted Chicken, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour some on top like this, just a little bit. Okay, because a chicken, once the chicken cook, cooks down, it's gonna produce its own juices, okay? I'm gonna put this on low, because um, it's early. It's now once this is done, I'm gonna finish it off in the oven. I find that when you do meats in crock pot, at least for me, which I rarely do, y'all, I probably cook in this once every other month. I just don't like the texture of the chicken once it's done, unless I'm doing a soup. I'll do soups with like shredded chicken anyway. I put my food under the broiler for about five minutes for it to get crispy, sometimes longer. So that's. Y'all, hey, I'm going to be seasoning my cast iron. I have a lot of cast iron. I have this Dutch oven. I have this griddle. Yep. I have this cast iron. Yep. This one, this one. Look at JV. And I think I have a small one down here. So here we go. Ignore him. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, you gonna get it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Every now and then, if something happens, you can use soap and water, but you do not want to do it consistently because it messes up the seasoning of the pan. I use a stainless steel scrubber to get the rust off. See how that has a little bit of rust and hot water. And then we're gonna put shortening, rub it down, each pan with shortening. Place it in the oven at the highest it can go. Do not. I've seen videos where put it on self cleaning. Don't do that because self cleaning mechanism locks your oven. God forbid if something were to happen, you won't be able to open. Your house is going to burn down. Don't put it on self cleaning. I have it on 500. Scrub everything down. Put the grease in, shortening, excuse me. Place it in the oven for a few hours. And that's how I clean and season my cast iron skillets. Now I've seen some people that flip the cast iron skillet under, excuse me, over, um, because that'll help it. But we're just gonna do this for now because I have so many of them. I would have to do this in two batches if I were gonna flip them over, okay? This is gonna go in for a few hours, y'all. Hey, you guys, so what are y'all reading? I've already, I've been slowing down on the reading just due to stuff going on with the house, but I started reading Christopher Pike's Strange Girl Strange folks, excuse me. I'm a huge Pike fan, y'all. Those of you who are readers, Christopher Pike is a well-known um, teen novelist. I followed him on Facebook, and a couple of months ago, I wrote on his Facebook um, page, I used to have the biggest crush on Christopher Pike. Who am I kidding? I still have a crush. Why did he respond to that, y'all? You never know, y'all. Look at what... Look at what I bought this shot. You want to, I bought him a ventriloquist dummy. If when I tell you, sorry y'all. Mm -mm, yeah, I cover that thing up with a blanket and before I go to bed. But yeah, yeah, Christopher Piker responded to my um You need to stop comment. doing that too. <laughs> hey look, I'm not na I'm not naive to know that I know a lot of those people have admins that manage their site. But they signed their name on his particular page. The admin signed their name when they respond to a fan. But this was signed Pike. It was him. And plus, he mentioned his wife. And this man is, um, hold on, y'all. He's very private. So, y'all know we're all over the place. He wants me to show. Okay, y'all, why? Isn't that creepy? Oh, Lord. I'm amazing. So I can make a murder, I can make a murder. Have a seat, sweetheart. Oh, look at this, it looks like a great massage chair. <laughs> All the way back. One, two, and three, what? Doing real good.
Acceptor or Lido? Uh, Lido. Extra short? No, short. short. Yeah. That's the first punch, okay? Mm, get a fruit punch. Yum. Why is it so dark? What the heck? Dogs don't have that. There we go. Child, you see what's happening. He's loading up the dog. We are on our way to Papa Do's. He is getting on my nerves. I did a light beat. My hair is still looking like Mama Say Mama Sakusa. Yay. Um, we're going to go to Papa Do's for an early dinner, late lunch. And um, have me some catfish and red beans and rice. And look, I'm so greedy. Are you okay, baby? Take your time. Take your time. Y'all, I don't know about you, but lately the meat I've been getting at the stores, specifically chicken wings, have been disgusting. So, hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you. To scare you. Oh, that is creepy. You like the bread? Yummy. You want me to peel you off some more? There you go. Uh huh. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I gotta sneeze. I have no idea why it's dark. Why is it so dark? I have two peppermints in my mouth. This was good. Papa Do was good, y'all. Look, I was worried about looking raggedy. And uh, 30 minutes into our meal, this random woman came up to our table and was like, I just want to say, my husband and I saw you walking in, and I said to my husband, that is a woman who knows how to dress. I was like, oh, thank you. And she told her, she told Jim, she said, you have one beautiful mom. I'm like, oh, thank you, y'all. I, I was feeling a little raggedy today. Come on, baby. I'm looking for, I'm looking for this purse that I left here a couple of days ago. It's black. Y'all, we're at Ross. You know why. Oh, this is cute. Not for $28, though. No, not for $28. No, no, no. I found it. I found it. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a bucket purse. This? No. So, Y'all, I found it. Zip it back up. Zip it back up. Well, there's something inside. Yeah, this, there is going to be. Baby, zip it back up. Leave that in there. Zip it back up for mommy. Y'all, I found it. The bucket hey, hey. purse. Y'all have to excuse JB's hair. I'm letting it grow out. Zip it all the way. Now, let me show it to them. I love it. Isn't that cute, y'all? It's yeah. just, I thought it was 10 it's $12. That's it. And I've been wanting a bucket purse for forever. All right, baby, come on, let's go. Our stuff is here, baby. You gonna eat this bread tomorrow, right? Or you gonna eat mine? Yeah. I'm gonna get my Amazon order. So, hold on, baby, hold on. Hold on. This is yours. Yeah. That's Okay, be careful. Did you order me too? Come on, Jamie. What the heck is this? What is this? Daddy, it's daddy ordering stuff. Oh, no, no, no. It's your booster seat. Why did it come like this? I got Davey another inflatable car seat for our trip to Texas. And he has this side little thing where he can rest his head on. Here you go, baby. I got a sample of TGIN. And then we have... Hold on, baby. I have some essential oil. Jamie, you and, need to stop. And we have these, um, whatever they are. I'm pretty sure I ordered two of these. I have some mites, but I'm pretty sure I ordered two of them. You did order two. Oh, well, hell. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite movies, one of my favorite movies with her so, is Niagara Falls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't go, do not, do not send me to CPS because he's hey, laughing. You get out of the way. <laughs> let me show, let, 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 go ahead and show it. Cause I'm, um, so this way I got for Ross and it's really cool. It has, um, 50. 15. Mm -hmm. 15. Um, my name is so sweet. Baby. Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. This is gonna be a long vlog. I always say that, don't I? I always say that, and then I chop it down to like 30, 40 minutes. Y'all have no idea <laughs> the amount of editing when you do vlogs. Um, and I guess it depends on. 
you hear that noise, girl? You hear that drilling? Yeah, I mean, their asses are here. And <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Excuse my language. That means that they are here. And he's just putting up the drywall. Y'all, this is just... <sighs> I am fit to be tired, girl. Y'all, I'm out here at the grocery store spending money that I shouldn't be spending. Um, I saw a recipe on... Um, ooh, I'm turning the air off. I saw a recipe on YouTube. It was um, grilled butter chicken. When I tell you, I must have watched that video three times. Zooming in on the picture, girl. So I'm going to try to attempt that. I'll record it, y'all. Today's going to be a bunch of mess because I have another meeting later on. And then I have an appointment with the vein specialist. The reason why I'm upset is because my hair is dry as hell. I took the bands out because I was stretching my hair for a style I was going to do in like three more days. So I took it down to moisturize my hair. As I'm taking it down, it feels like straw. So it's extremely dry. Excuses. I know you guys can't see me that well. It's extremely dry. You know, Miss Arlette was right. She told me way back in December that I need to be more consistent with my products because what I happen is that I'll use something that's really good and then use something that's bad and it sets my sets me back with my hair regimen. So what I happened was I had used the Blue Magic Grease to do a twist out. Hold on, y'all. Is that better? I don't know. I used the Blue Magic Grease to do a twist out and it was a fail. My hair was the moisture was still, but my hair was greasy and I felt like the grease coated my strands and not in a good way. So I went ahead and proceeded to wash my hair with sulfates and then I applied the Maui Volcanic Ash Pitiful Mask to my hair. And it felt like when I was rinsing it out, and like I said, I was looking down at my hands and I could see hair. So it, a lot more than shedded hair was coming. My hair was kind of coming out, coming out. Excuse me, a little bit. Um, and now, as my hair has completely dried, it really it dried out my hair basically. And I know I saw one or two other comments from other people that said that the product line in general, moisture, Maui moisture, dries out their hey, hair. Hey I'm out front of the girl. I got my days all mixed up. Let me tell y'all what's going on. I'm out front of the doctor's office. I'm done. Um, I had a follow-up with the vein specialist. Those of you who don't know, in February, I had what's called, I don't even know the correct terminology. I have pain in my legs, you guys, um, for multiple reasons, but the main one is varicose veins. So I had a, um, oh girl, DV, uh, GSV done, which basically was laser treatment to basically cut off whatever's going on with the leg. And so lately I've been having some pain. Like yesterday, last night, I was in so much pain and I took one of my pills, one of my uh, gabapentin pills. I just need to take one and I'll be okay, you know. Um, I'm gonna crank up my car. But I had a follow-up appointment. I wanted to make a follow-up appointment with him, which is what I had today. And he's such a sweet guy. He's very, very gentle he's almost like a grandpa like you know what i mean anyway he basically was like when did you have this done and i'm like it's been a couple of weeks and the girl next to him she said it's been since february and he's like well where is the pain and i show him where it was at all the way down he's like well i you know it takes a while to heal and um sometimes when you have the procedure done it can hit the nerve next to it and that's just it'll just take a while it isn't there's nothing wrong um and I guess the, the uh, office manager could see my face a little bit sad because I thought it would be, you know, immediate, immediate, not immediate, but you know, it shouldn't take a month, I thought. But when he left, she said, um, I've had this done several, I've had, had several treatments with him, excuse me, and she said it does take a while. She said a couple of months after she had it done, she would suddenly feel pain. Um, but for me to keep wearing my compression stockings, and um, my legs are so big, y'all, that I have to reorder them, you know, every other month or so. Like every four or five months, I have to reorder a new pair because they get loose. Real quick, and I have to go get, I have to leave and pick up JB. Girl, 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 Jerry is a Let me tell y'all what happened today. Can y'all see me? Can y'all even see me? Can y'all, girl, get it together. Let me tell y'all what happened today with Jerry and Travis. So, yesterday, out of the blue, well, y'all y'all heard it, uh, y'all heard me earlier today, and the guy was here. So, yesterday, out of the blue, 
he texts me this is jerry the one that told my husband never to text me again child jerry texts me and say that the um not even asking when you're available telling us that's another thing that we don't like that these folks have been doing out of the blue 4 p.m the drywall guy would be there between eight and nine okay jerry get up. can you ask me if i'm available the drywall guy comes at 7 30. no problem with me miss jackson's been up for a couple of hours no, but my husband is, is still asleep so i tell him by the way the drywall is here guys here i have to leave so i leave drop jb off i come back and it's been busy this is all what happened this morning it's been busy all morning the hell all morning i've been busy with meetings and just getting stuff situated with my um just at, at work i'm busy y'all right child why when i was in the living room no in the den doing something jerry walks through the damn door no knocking no sending me a text message to say i'm on my way to see how things are going he walks through his outdoor like he coming in to come to come over for dinner not even that like this is his damn house he waved didn't even speak wave and just walked on in so i went in my husband was sleeping in the guest bedroom i went in and i said jerry is here <laughs> I don't mean to be dramatic. I was like, Jerry, Jerry is here. He just showed up and walked through the house. My husband put those covers over his head. I, just, I was like, oh shit. So Jerry was there for about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I guess he was picking up some supplies that the guy was done with. My husband was heated. He was like, I specifically asked the manager that we did not want. And I, I told my husband, I said, he has to, you just can't say Jerry can't be on a, on the a, um, project. He is the project manager. He manages the subcontractor. So we don't want Jerry. We don't want Travis. We don't want anyone. I've been trying to tell my husband this, y'all, for damn near two weeks. So we've been going back and forth since earlier this week. Because the guy just showed up. What's today? Thursday? And they were supposed to have been here on Monday, girl. So we've been going back and forth all week on whether or not we should fire them. And my husband's so, I don't know. I wouldn't say he's passive aggressive. He's, there's no gray area with him. He's either really soft or aggressive. So he's been telling me, he's like, well, you know, your, your people skills, you know, are better than mine. And not necessarily that, but he's basically like, you're going to have to call them. If we decide we don't want them anymore, you're going to have to do it because they take whatever I say and offensive. So I said, you know what? You need to learn how to change your communication style based on the individual. I've been, I've been doing this for damn near 20 years working in corporate America. Some people, you just can't go up and be like, hey, Regina, I need for you to do this. You have to be like, good morning, Regina. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Even though you don't give a damn about her weekend, you got to, you know what I mean, put that little. So whenever I've been calling Travis, the owner, I'm like, hey, Travis, how are you doing? And the whole thing about getting another contractor on is that it may take even longer. You know what I mean? Because these people, they're already, the ball is already rolling. Um... So I fired them. I fired them. My husband's like, can you just call them? I'm like, you know what? So I called up the owner and I was like, you know what? Um, we thank you for whatever you've done now, but due to um, the lack of communication and we've had a, a number of issues that have come up on this project, it has extended longer than we had anticipated. We would no longer be needing your services. Girl, that was like a two second pause. And Travis was like, okay then uh, thank you for your business and i'm gonna send you an invoice for whatever supplies you guys are used and my husband that's where my husband shine in that's fine <laughs> i need to hurry up carry this up i told him i said to have peace of mind is priceless because that guy was look when he came in jerry came in this morning it was negative energy y'all it, it was a weird type of negative energy and I what you got there <laughs> let me see let me see what it is what do you think that is? I really never bought him one of these, y'all. I made him one when he was one years old, but it's called an Easter basket, okay? That's what that is, okay? He doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> oh my God, let me sit this camera down so I can show y'all what I got. You like it? Yeah, I was gonna make it, but I saw that at Albertson, $7. Yeah, that's very affordable. Right, that's in my budget, right? So I got this from uh, 
eBay. Ooh, I don't know about this, y'all. Oh, she said a large. Does that look like a large to y'all? That is not a large, girl. That is a medium. This is not gonna fit my wide self. This is not gonna fit me, y'all. This is not gonna Daddy, fit. That's okay, baby. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to wash it. I don't think it's gonna fit me, y'all. Maybe I can make a skirt out of it. This is not gonna fit. Y'all. Girl, this is not a large. You got me messed up. All right, you guys, I think we're about to end this vlog because we're at the 30 minute mark. Um, but it looks like we would definitely have our, try to have this, um, have a new person by the end of the week, which is good. We are already interviewed someone yesterday or he came by and y'all, he already told us that some of the stuff they were doing was wrong. I am so glad we listened to our gut instinct and cancel these people. So he sent us an invoice over the crappy part not crappy, I shouldn't watch my language. The frustrating part is that he, in his invoice, he gave us an itemized invoice and he's gonna charge us for the rework, which is fine. Um, so anyway, we should definitely have someone, a new, uh, what am I trying to say, contractor by the end of the week. And it seems like most of the people we're going with, they work on one or two jobs and that's it. Whereas these other people were doing multiple jobs at the same time. One or two jobs, that's it. So anyway, I'm excited about that, girl, hopefully. Uh, but look, why did Jerry send me... After... I'm, I'm so tired of talking about this man, girl. After we had told them we no, no, no longer needed their services, this ass fat, the PM Jerry, I hate to call him that, but seriously, he sends me a text message a few days later and was like, we could have had you finish by the end of the week. Lies, all lies. The fact that he sends me a text message after we fired him lets me know that we can't be working with you anyway, because you're inappropriate. You don't know, you have no sense of professionalism. So anyway, y'all. Y'all, these little boys, I feel kind of bad, but not really. These little boys in the neighborhood, we ran into these cute little boys last month, and they come over here every, I would say like every four or five days, Wait, wanting to know if JB can come out and play with him. Play with them, I'm sorry. The little boys look like, one of them told me he's turning eight soon and the other one is nine. And I remind them, JB just turned six. And so I see the little boys, I ask them, like, where do y'all live at? One of them lived two blocks away. The other one lives around the corner and they're riding around in the neighborhood on their bicycles. Y'all call me overprotective, but I will not be allowing my child riding around on his bicycles under the age of 10. And these little boys are scrawny and little. One of them just a few inches taller than JB, the seven year old, there's no way. Where we live at, we live in a nice neighborhood, but it's always, you know, the bad things happening in the nice neighborhood. You always say, well, we never thought that would happen in this neighborhood type of stuff going on. So you <laughs> put it like this, I would rather be safe than sorry. This is not the 80s. Hell, this is not the 90s. We used to be able to ride, where I was growing up, we used to be able to ride our bikes and be out seven or eight years old. And no one would mess with us because everyone would look out for each other. My neighbors are not even like that. My neighbors from Texas, are they're cool. But I don't even talk to my other neighbors. You know what I mean? I talked to Miss Lori. That's it. I guess my point is, is that JB no. And he's he's a little sad. He's like, oh, what kind of... First of all, you're a kindergartner. Second, second the age is 10. Maybe not even then. Mm-mm. I know, I don't know, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. This is a nice neighborhood, but another thing is also we live five minutes away from the interstate. So it would be real easy for someone to snatch up a kid and get on the interstate. You would never see that. I mean, seriously, I was telling um another grand a grandparent actually, and I said, I'm not letting my letting my kid play out in the yard. And she told me there was a case out here, um, I guess in the 90s where a little girl was playing out in the front yard and someone kidnapped her and they've never seen that child again. No, Phoenix is up there when it comes to 
uh sex offenders i think they're either number one or number two they're basically in the top five when it comes to sex offenders y'all phoenix is no joke I'm not doing that I'm not doing it i'm not allowing my baby to unless i'm with me even then all right you guys that is it for this vlog um tomorrow i'm gonna be meeting with nick again and miss yolanda we're gonna go out to eat and the weather has been a little funky here but we'll see y'all i've been in a weird mood lately i don't know what it is I don't know what it is. My, I think it's because of what's going on with the house. I know that's what it is. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, take care. Bye.